We are in Portland, home of stinky white people, all right? <laughs> they are fuck. Let me give you the downtown Portland greeting. Hey, man, can I get $2? Can I get $2? Can I get $2? How about $1.89? $1.76? What you got? What you got? I can take that. Dirty ass white people. Oh, God, it's so fucking disgusting. Okay, you don't have a can't find a job. Try pissing on the outside of your pants. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. That makes you amazingly more employable. You'd be surprised. When you don't reek a piss and squish when you walk, uh, you, uh, that's what those tight jeans are for. That's why they're so tight. They piss in them and it fucking shrinks them up. What the fuck is with that, okay? Tight pants, skinny jean dudes. Okay, listen up. You're not supposed to know a dude has got camel toe from the back. That's all I'm saying, man. You know? <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, player, hey. Hey, get some loose pants or enjoy your yeast infection. You pick, okay? <laughs> then they do that dumb shit with their ears, that big dumb fucking hoop shit where they put like a, a coaster in their fucking dumb ears. That's the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. It is so dumb. It's not like it's gonna come back. It's not like an earring where you take it out and it just seals up. You've got loops in your ears forever, bro. You can't ride a motorcycle, you put the helmet on, you're little... <laughs> ears are flapping. What cracks me up is that it's only white people that are doing that shit and Mexicans that think they're white. That's it. <laughs> And, but every time I say that after the show, some uh, white guy with these dumb fucking hoop earrings with a frisbee in his ear comes up and he's like, you know, dude, this started in Africa. It started in Africa. Yeah, but you don't see black guys doing that shit right now, do you? <laughs> Fuck no. Because every black person's been told by their great grandparents and their great parents' parents before them and their great great grand great 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 grandparents before them that that's how white people caught black people. <laughs> right, Claire? There's some black guys in the back. Right, Money? Fuck yeah. They got y'all and y'all's jug handle. <laughs> you ever had your grandmama get you by the fucking ear? That's what they did. They got them by the jug handle. You can't go nowhere when you got somebody in your earlobe like that. You're like, oh, shit, oh, shit. That's what happened. Now, I know some of y'all are shocked. And you're like, Ralphie, man, you're telling us that the reason black people got caught and put into slavery is because white people grabbed them by their jug handle earlobes. Yes, that is what I'm saying. Okay, that's my hypothesis. Yours would be that there was a bunch of white people faster than black people. Your theory or mine? Mine. Mine makes a hell of a lot more sense. Oh, man. Stinky, dirty white people. Old white people. Oh, enough with them, too. Enough. The old white people in Washington, they fucking hate our president. I'm old school. Like, look, Jack. I, I, I don't, maybe not like the man, but God damn it, I love the office. You know what I'm saying? I respect the president. Maybe that's just me. You know? I wasn't one of these comedians making fun of George W. Bush when he said nuclear. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't invent it. it that might be how you pronounce it. I don't know. I wasn't there. 
Nuclear might be the shit. That might be it. What if Albert Einstein had a speech impediment? Nuclear. You don't know. You weren't there. I just gave him the benefit of the doubt. I didn't like him because he traded Sammy Sosa, but that's just me, you know? That's how I vote. Did you ever run a baseball team and trade Sammy Sosa for some bullshit pitchers? I can't vote for you, son. You can't have the button. I'm sorry. But Barack never traded anybody. I like Barack Obama. I do. But every time these white guys in Washington say Barack Obama, it's like the word nigger is right below the surface. Y'all notice that? Y'all notice that, Playboy? You know what I'm talking about, right, Money? Every time, every time, they got so much hate they can't even hide it. It's like a nigger shark swimming right below the surface. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that Barack Obama, ooh, he's a nigger. Nah, Who wants to give health care to people? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they're all Yosemite Sam, you know? They're turning into Yosemite Sam. Ooh, I hate that Barack Obama. <laughs> Racist motherfuckers. Sick of that shit. People have a problem with the black part of him, because he's half and half. If he was white, they wouldn't have no problem with him at all. I gotta say, that's the part I got a problem with, is the white part. I want, I want that black part to show up every now and then. Just like, does the TV just come up? Uh, breaking news. The president is about to address the country. Yo, what's up? I want everybody to hear this shit from me. So you didn't hear it on the streets, you know what I'm saying? I, 10 minutes ago, I called that cocksucker over in Syria. <laughs> who would be using chemical weapons and shit and killing babies. I don't play that. I don't play that. Ain't nobody killing babies and shit on my watch, son. You know what I'm saying? Chemical weapons, my ass, pussy. Get in there and do it yourself. Can't fucking roach bomb a fucking country. I told that nigga, I said, hey, hey, yo, yo, motherfucker. Look out your window. Bam! And I want him to take his dick and hit the button with his dick. Yeah, that was my dick, son. <laughs> Be bombing you later. What's up? You dropped a bomb.